For many, climbing the Earth's highest mountain, Mount Everest, is the ultimate physical achievement. But for the two adventurers you're about to meet, getting to the top was just the beginning, the easy part. Here's ABC's Ginger Z with this spectacular story of how they came down. That is the roof of the world, the holy summit of Mount Everest. Many have climbed it, very few have flown off, and no one has attempted this. From 29,000 feet to zero in just one trip, the ultimate summit to sea descent. Tackling some of the most dangerous terrain in the world. My goal, not only flying down, my goal is all the way going to the ocean. This is my dream. A dream to fly from the top of Mount Everest and then kayak to the Indian Ocean. Sound insane? The Everest flight alone has top athletes' heads spinning. I wouldn't dare to go up Everest and try to fly off it. To get up there and, and have to run full speed with crampons on in a hypoxic, exhausted state, it seems like there's a one in a thousand chance to pull it off successfully. <laughs> Kimberly Finney is one of Babu's few early believers. He said, okay, we're going Everest. We leave in one month. I have no support. I have no help. We have no sponsors. We have no equipment, but we're going. Because I want to do something. Nobody did it. Multi-adventure together, one expedition. His first challenge, climb Mount Everest, undercover, without permits, money, or any high altitude climbing experience. If you put me in jail, I'm happy to go jail, but without adventure, you cannot feel the real life. You know, when it comes to, to climbing Everest, it's a lot of money. The average person is forty to 50000 Babu arrives at Everest Base Camp with no such money, but the perfect accomplice, Lakpa Shiri Sherpa, a veteran mountaineer who wants in on this epic journey. You know, the agreement was Lakpa would take Babu, up Everest, and Babu would take Lakpa to the ocean. Lakpa knew all the Sherpas, he knew everybody on Everest. They were able to kind of go in and utilize the cook's camps. Bumming food, supplies, and cramped shelter off other high-priced expeditions, Babu begins to size himself up against Earth's highest peak. Yeah, this environment uh, is a first time for my life, very tough for me. With paltry support, Babu and Lakpa begin a push into Everest's death zone above 26,000 feet. Sunrise coming, sunlight coming. Myself, I feel very strong. We, we making summit and the 8:15 like morning. But Babu's sunrise bounce, along with the oxygen, is now running dangerously low. I asked Lakpa, "Where is our glider man? I need to fly now. I cannot breathe. I cannot do anything." And I tell Lakba, give me full oxygen now. Oxygen, okay. With a blast of their last oxygen and a brief draft of good wind, Babu takes their lives into his hands. Ready, Lakba? Ready, no problem. Ready. And we go suddenly, boom, up. And Lakpa, he asked me, my mark, my mark, need my mark. I said, don't worry about marks. You are still alive. Halfway around the world, Kimberly is singing too as she follows their satellite track. There was just this straight line going off the mountain and you were like, yeah, that's it. They're in the air. The Hindu gods opened it up and gave them the perfect conditions. In just 42 minutes, all the turmoil of climbing Everest falls away. The two pilots glide 15 miles to an airstrip near Namche Bazaar in Nepal, but their celebrations are brief. They weren't done with their expedition. They were halfway through. Still ahead, 500 miles of hiking and kayaking, a full month's trek, starting with some of the most powerful rivers in the world. Jaws, Anxiety, and the Meat Grinder are just a few of the aptly named rapids along the mighty Sun Cozy River. Babu did tell me that, that Lakwa can't swim. We, we didn't have to time to teach him swimming uh, because we give him a life jacket. The boat flipped, they lost paddles, Babu got stuck and thought he was going to die. And the trials continue even when the Himalayan River reaches the slow, smooth majesty of the Ganges. More than 100 people come in, very difficult situation, they have us, our money. From then on, Babu and Lakpa hide in the reeds at night. 
or they were just kind of surviving off the fruit from the trees. Some day only banana, banana. Some day only mango, mango, mango. Poor Lakba. This is a man who can be up at 8,000 meters smoking cigarettes and perfectly fine. He actually was having a challenging time breathing. 28 days kayaking, more difficult than climbing Everest. But two months after sailing from the peak of Mount Everest and 29,000 feet lower, the two Nepalis finally run out of land to explore. Wading in, their goal achieved. Oh, now time to go, finish expedition. Lakpa and Babu, they made it. They represent Nepal. They did, nobody did before. All over the world, National Geographic readers agree. With overwhelming majority, they voted Babu and Lakpa 2012 Adventurers of the Year. For Nightline, I'm Ginger Z.